Welcome to this episode of AWS Quick Start series on building your web application on AWS. My name is Aarti and I'm a Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. Today I'll be walking you through the steps to set up your first WordPress application using Amazon LightSail. Now WordPress is an open source software which is very popular to build blogging websites. It's based on PHP and MySQL. You can also use WordPress to build other applications and websites. Amazon LightSail is a virtual private server offering. This was primarily designed to make it very easy for you to get your workloads up and running. You do not need any background expertise on running or managing infrastructure on AWS. There are a few unique characteristics of Amazon LightSail that sets it apart from other AWS services. Let's look at what those are. The first, LightSail is a bundled offering. What this means is when you sign up for a LightSail plan, it comes with a package that includes compute, storage, and networking. Further, each of these components are fully pre-configured for you. Next, your Amazon LightSail package starts from a fixed price starting from $3.50 for Unix and Linux-based operating systems and $8 a month for Windows. What this means is it makes it extremely easy for you to predict your bill at the end of each month. Now, LightSail comes with its own console that is designed to make it in extremely intuitive for you to get your first application up and running. Although designed to be simple, you still have the ability to grow and build complex workloads using LightSail. For example, you can provision additional storage for your LightSail instances, or you could set up load balancing and distribute your traffic across multiple LightSail instances. LightSail also integrates nicely with other AWS services. So you could choose to host your website on LightSail, but host your relational database using Amazon Relational Database Service, or RDS. Now for those of you in the audience who prefer programmatic access, you can use the API or the command line interface. So with that, let's now look at a demo of how exactly you would go about setting up your WordPress application on AWS using LightSail. There are three key steps to this. The first, you would log into your LightSail console. The second, we'll use a pre-built WordPress blueprint to spin up the application. And finally, once your application is up, you can see how you can log into it and monitor it. We see here that we are logged in into our LightSail console. Let's click on Create Instance next. You will see that our region has defaulted to Singapore in this case. However, LightSail is available across many different regions in the world. We will stick with Singapore for this one. The next setting you see here is an availability zone. Availability zones, or AZs, are isolated locations within an AWS region. You can choose to distribute your resources across AZs and design your application such that if one resource goes down, the other one can take on the load. So essentially, they allow you to design a highly available infrastructure. So if you now scroll down, uh, you can select your operating system. You have two choices here. The first is Linux or Unix-based operating system, and the other is Windows. For this demo, we will stick with the Linux operating system. Now, blueprints on LightSail come with pre-configured applications installed on your operating system. However, you do have the option to start with the base OS image and then install the application of your choice on this. For this demo, again, we will be using the WordPress Blueprint. Next, if you scroll down, you will see that you have the ability to customize your instance as it comes up by specifying additional launch scripts. In this case, since we have picked a Linux instance, LightSail also provides you with an SSH key, which you can use to connect directly to your instance. You see that it has set up a default key for you. You can download this key and use it later to SSH into your instance from your computers. The next is the instance plan. You see here the plans start with $5, but since this video was recorded today, uh, the fares are starting from $3.50 onwards. The last thing is to give your instance a friendly name, and in this case, we will be spinning up just one copy of our WordPress server. We click on Create. Once we do this, we should now see our WordPress show up in our dashboard with the status of pending. So let's take a quick look at the other tabs. 
LightSeal allows you to attach a fixed public IP to your instance. Now, when you do not have a static IP, every time your LightSeal instance reboots, it will come up with a new public IP. However, static IPs persist restarts. Also, if you're building a public-facing website, you likely want to bring your own domain name. So we provide basic domain name management capabilities in Amazon LightSail. And finally, you can also configure a load balancer to distribute your traffic across multiple LightSail instances. So this is a great way to make your architecture highly available and fault tolerant. But the for the purposes of this demo, we will not be using one. Next, under the Storage tab, you can provision additional storage for your LightSail instances by clicking on Create a Disk. So just make sure that you choose the same region for your disk as you did for your WordPress instance, which is Singapore in this case. You have a choice starting from 8 GB all the way up to 16 terabytes. Now, if you scroll down, you can give your disk a custom name. For this demo, we will not be provisioning any additional disks. Finally, snapshots. Now, snapshots are point-in-time images of your LightSail instances, and they are a great way to build your disaster recovery strategy. So you can use snapshots to create new LightSail instances. So now, let's go back to our Instances tab. And you should see here that our instance has come up and running, come up to a running status now. So what we will do next is look at the details of this WordPress instance. The first tab you see here has connection details. You have two different ways to connect to your LightSail instance. One, you can directly SSH into the instance. You can do this from your computer using the default key that we downloaded earlier, or you can use the public IP address to directly access the front end of your WordPress application. So let's copy this IP address into a new browser, and you should see that this loads up the default blogging web page. Now let's go back and explore the SSH option. Now LightSail allows you to SSH directly from your browser into the machine, which is a very useful feature. You can see that when I click on this button, it takes me to the terminal of my WordPress instance and I can type in my Linux commands here. For example, I can list the contents of the directory. On the right hand bottom, you will see a clipboard icon, which makes it very easy for you to copy instructions from your local computer, in this case, to, the insta to your WordPress instance. However, note that the reverse is also possible. You can copy contents from here to your local computer. Now, let's take a quick look at the metrics tab here. Metrics are a nice way to monitor the health of your WordPress instance. You can see here that this shows you metrics like CPU utilization, the data transfer in and out of your instance, and also the overall health of your instance. If you scroll up, you have the option to change the time period for the metrics and the graphs will update themselves. Finally, the History tab will show you, show you all actions that you have performed on your instance. For example, if I create additional storage, that action will show up here under History. At the very top, you can use the Stop and Reboot buttons to stop or restart your instance. And that concludes the demo. As the next steps, I would encourage you to visit the LightSail console at aws.amazon.com slash LightSail and explore the different features that LightSail has to offer. You can use Amazon LightSail's free tier for a period of one month to build your own e-commerce websites or blog sites or even your test environments. Apart from that, AWS also offers you a generous free tier for the first 12 months. And if you are someone who are aspiring to create your own startup, you can benefit from the AWS Activate program, which gives you access to free credits and training resources. You can learn more about this program by visiting aws.amazon.com slash activate. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching.